fighting for the WBA champion Stevie Cruz against Roger Arevalo. Let's go to Shelly Mann for the introductions. Scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing, featherweight division, your referee is Spider Bynum. Let us first introduce to you, coming out of the blue corner, weighing in at 127 and three quarter pounds, with a professional boxing record of 23 wins, one loss and one draw, 15 by knockouts. He'll be wearing the red trunks with the white trim. He is from Merida, Yucatan, Mexico. Here is Roger Arrivillo. <laughs> Coming out of the red corner, weighing in at 128 pounds, with a professional boxing record of 26 wins and one loss, 15 by knockout. Wearing green trunks from Fort Worth, Texas, the World Boxing Association featherweight champion of the world, A standing ovation for little Stevie Cruz, a hometown boy from here in Fort Worth, who at age 23 is the WBA World Featherweight Champion. We mentioned at the top of the show, he pulled off a major upset, winning a unanimous decision over Barry McGuigan in Las Vegas on June 23rd of this year to take the title. As a matter of fact, he knocked down McGuigan, I believe, twice in the last round, and that is what helped Cruz win the fight. This is a non-title fight tonight, a 10-round featherweight bout, and it is Stephen Cruz against Roger Arevalo. Arevalo from Merida, Mexico, just 20 years old, but he's already won 26, lost one, and had one draw. Stevie Cruz with identical 26 victories, and only one defeat, 15 of Stevie Cruz's wins have been by knockouts. An excellent crowd on hand here at Will Rogers Coliseum to welcome back Steve Cruz for that world championship. Pretty cautious here as we go about a minute into round number one. Cruz missing with an uppercut. Stevie Cruz with the bright green trunks. Arevalo with his back to you at the moment, wearing the red with the white stripe and the red shoes. Cruz blocking punches and missing with the left jab. Neither fighter connecting with anything so far. Crowd, of course, 100% behind Steve Cruz. Cruz trained for about nine weeks for this fight. Always works with uh, Joe Barrientos, and for the last couple of weeks before the fight, Cruz was in virtual isolation. He moved out of the house. Cruz is uh, married. In fact, his wife is expecting a baby, but Cruz uh, has his, his uh, training procedure with Joe Barrientos, moved out of the house, moved in with Barrientos, and was in virtual seclusion for the last couple of weeks in preparation for this fight. And that draws some oohs and ahs from the crowd. Revelo missing with almost everything he's tried to throw so far. Good left by Stevie Cruz as the bell sounds at the end of round one. A cautious round. 
But we can expect a lot more action to unfold as we move along. Slipper. Listen, this fire may have put some tape on the back. Next round, we'll put some tape on it. All clean your lane. Trainers working with Roger Arevalo, the 20-year-old fighter out of Merida, Mexico, the Yucatan Peninsula. Arevalo is ranked third in the North American Boxing Federation rankings. Very popular fighter in Mexico. His only loss was to Joaquin Acuna, Mexico City, a 10-round decision in April of this year. Round two is underway. Very quiet first round for both fighters. A couple of low punches thrown by Arevalo. Spider Bynum, your referee working this fight. Judges at ringside, Jackie Woodruff, Gary Snapka, and Ken Fuel. And round two starting off with a quicker pace than the first round did. A straight, couple of straight lefts missed by Arevalo. Word we got from Arevalo's camp was that Arevalo had not had an opportunity to study uh, Stevie Cruz on tape and not see him fight. No damage done. Good left by Rebelo and a corresponding left by Steve Cruz. Cruz missing with a flurry. Good right by Cruz. Both of these fighters are very quick, very fast, and in superb condition. Good block there by Arevalo. <laughs> Minutes to go in round two. Missing with the jab, Steve Cruz. Neither fighter able to take control so far. But we're in the second round. That one jarred Arevalo a little bit. Of course, every time Steve Cruz lands any kind of punch, the crowd is going to make a lot of noise. Half minute to go in the round. Better pace to the second round than the first. Cruz working some Combinations, good left there by Roger Arevalo. This is a big fight for Arevalo. Not a title bout, but an excellent chance to make a name for himself against the reigning WBA World Featherweight Champ, Steve Cruz. And there's the bow and the end of the second round. Give a slight edge to Steve Cruz in round two. Scheduled 10-rounder here at Will Rogers Coliseum continues. Well, do blondes really have more fun? The guys at the press table here at Will Rogers Coliseum would definitely say yes. Meanwhile, in Stevie Cruz's corner, that's David Gorman with his back to you, Joe Barrientos dealing, working with their talented young champion. Stevie Cruz, 23 years old. We told you, trains with Joe Barrientos. Stevie's a plumber by trade, and in fact has continued to work at that profession. 
He says that boxing is uh, something he wants to take to the limit, but he knows that there has to be a life after boxing, and he enjoys the plumbing profession. score this time. Revelo coming back with that left. This has the makings of an excellent fight. We call the first round about even the second round an edge to Steve Cruz. Roger Revelo has the looks of a fighter who can hold his own. Slight cut open under the left eye of Revelo. now we see. Cruz missing with the uppercut. Back to the center of the ring they go. Spider Bynum has had to step between them uh, yet, I don't believe. And we're in the third round. All right, Cruz has got Revelo up against the ropes, and now Spider steps in. Wild right missed by Roger. Revelo coming forward. He is not a defensive fighter. He realizes if he's going to beat Steve Cruz in Steve's backyard, he's got to prove it. He's got to show beyond all doubt to the judges that he is the aggressor. Good punches thrown by Revelo, but now Cruz has Revelo against the ropes and the crowd making a lot of noise again. Inside a minute in the third round. Combination by Cruz. Revelo comes right back though. Another good exchange. And there is the end of the third round. Good fight here at Will Rogers Coliseum in Fort Worth. The fans getting their money's worth. We'll see what unfolds in round four as the bout continues. Roger Revelo's trainer, Beto Rivero, working on a cut underneath Revelo's left eye. Roger Revelo, 26 wins, one loss, one draw, 15 of his victories by knockout. His only loss to Joaquin Acuna in Mexico City in April of this year. Underway with round four, we've got the edge to Steve Cruz. Texas Boxing Commission rules are in effect. Ten point must system per round. The winner of the round must be awarded ten points. Loser of the round, nine points or less. There is no standing eight count, and there's a three knockdown rule in effect. If a fighter is knocked down three times in one round, the fight is stopped. Your referee, Spider Bynum, your judges, Ken Fuel, Jackie Woodruff, Gary Snapka. The physicians at ringside tonight, Dr. Walter Gardner and Dr. James E. Long. And representing the boxing commissioner's office for the state of Texas is David Honeycutt. Another good round.
coming at Cruz, though. And both fighters score this time, but more so for Steve Cruz with a good left. Rebelo missing a lot, though, with that left jab. Coming close, but not scoring, I don't think, the points that Stevie Cruz is getting. Steve Cruz's defense. At least not with anything serious. About 30 seconds to go in the fourth round. Ten round featherweight non-title fight. That soft left jab by Revelo. Good jab by Revelo that time. As he caught uh, Steve Cruz on the nose. There's the bell, the end of round four. A better round for Revelo. Working with Stevie Cruz in Steve's corner. Stevie going after his 27th pro victory against only one defeat, 15 wins by knockouts. Told you about that exciting upset victory over Barry McGuigan in Las Vegas in June of 1986 when Cruz, who was a 9 to 1 underdog, went the distance and defeated McGuigan in a unanimous decision. Round five is underway. And this should be a very interesting round. First round we had virtually even, the next to a slight edge to Steve Cruz. Last round, pretty tough to call. Warning there from Spider Bynum to Steve Cruz. And the partisan Cruz fans don't like it. All right, good action in this round. Cruz standing in there. Good left by Revelo. He can throw some punches. Good combination here by Cruz. The cut underneath Revelo's left eye doesn't seem to be uh, any, any worse than it was a couple of rounds ago. It opened up in the first round. Revelo stalking Cruz, but Steve fighting his way out. And back to the center of the ring. Halfway through round number five. Spider Bynum hasn't had a whole lot to do except just stand back and watch and enjoy this fight. A good one. Arevalo is landing punches here. He has been coming on since the end of round three. Both 
both fighters covering up. They break. About a half minute to go in round number five. Good fight. Good left right by Steve Cruz. Comes back with a straight left. Well, Revelo has given it all he's got in this round. All right, that's the end of the round. A good round for Revelo. A good round for Revelo. Still got Steve Cruz ahead, but it's not a lopsided lead by any stretch of the imagination. Some serious discussion going on in the Cruz corner. David Gorman with his back to you. Joe Barrientos kneeling there in front of Steve Cruz. And Roger Arevalo has come up from Merida, Mexico, the Yucatan Peninsula. And he has come to Fort Worth, a very determined and confident young fighter. 20-year-old Arevalo hanging in there against the reigning WBA featherweight champion, Stevie Cruz. Of course, the title not on the line here. This is a non-title fight. Cruz expected to uh, fight Antonio Asparagoza, Venezuela, the uh, number one challenger in the WBA rankings sometime in 1987. a big round for both fighters. We said that round five could be pivotal. Pivotal, it, it was a good round for Revelo. And we're now into the second half of this 10 round bout. Crowd here at Will Rogers 
Coliseum in Fort Worth. What a fight. Push him now, baby. Come on, come on. I don't feel it. I can't get no feet in him. I don't feel. I don't feel like I'm getting feet in him. Where is it? Now there's a no head movement in there, and he's stopping after one punch. To the action here at Will Rogers Coliseum. Steve Cruz and Roger Arevalo. Round seven. Arevalo, very tough in rounds five and six. We had the first round of the fight even. The edge to Cruz in rounds two and three. Pretty even in round four. Arevalo, I think, had the nod in rounds five and six. So, therefore, you'd have to call the fight very close. But, of course, in the final analysis, if this goes the distance, it's up to the judges. Steve Cruz not looking himself tonight, quite frankly. Not the same Steve Cruz that upset Barry McGuigan in Las Vegas in June of 86. They're going at it toe to toe again. Scored in by Cruz. Steve Cruz, Roger Arevalo. Arevalo, the 20-year-old fighter out of Mexico. Stevie Cruz, a hometowner from here in Fort Worth. There's Arevalo. He looks confident, doesn't he? He has taken everything Cruz can throw at him so far. 
Arevalo, 26-1 and 1 in his pro career with 15 knockout victories. Stevie Cruz, 26-1, 15 victories by knockout. And Cruz is in a real battle tonight. I'm glad, uh, glad I don't have to judge this fight. Instinct tells me at this point that Cruz is just ever so slightly ahead. Here comes Arevalo again. A point taken away from Arevalo for the low blow. Good combination by Stevie. the fans are concerned this could just as well be for the world championship and they are seeing a good one Cruz needs a strong finish
about halfway through the ninth round. Scheduled 10 rounder. Close fight, Cruz and Arevalo.
Not much time left in the fight. Spider Bynum breaks him up. One of the few times tonight the fighters have had to be broken from the clinch by the referee. What a finish. Coliseum, Shelly Mann, the ringside announcer, waiting for the judge's decision. And they've had a tough task tonight to score this one. I'll tell you what, this is this has been a tough one. Of course, again, uh, Cruz, the champion, the hometown favorite, the aggressor, uh, Roger Revelo was stalking Cruz throughout the fight, and I'm sure that he knew that he would have to come in here and do that and do it very convincingly and score an overwhelming victory in the eyes of the judges in order to, to get the win. If you're going to take away from somebody, you've got to do it convincingly, and that's the uh, way it is in the world of boxing. So who knows what the judges are going to come up with with a decision. But we're about ready for it. We're going to find out what they've got for us. Okay, let's go to Shelly Mann in the center of the ring. Hi, right, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to have your attention for just a moment. Here is the official decision. Referee Spider Bynum took one point away from Roger Aravalo for a low blow in the seventh round. We have a split majority decision. Judge Woodruff scores 98-92 Cruz. <laughs> Judge Hill scores 95-94 Arevalo. <laughs> Judge Marr scores 97-92 for the winner. Out of the red corner, the red corner and the Earl Steve Cruz. world of boxing it's tough it is tough to judge a fight as close as this a split decision for Stevie Cruz the hometown favorite a split decision for Stevie Cruz 98 92 Cruz on one card 95 94 Arevalo on the second card and on the uh, third judges card 97 92 Cruz and it was pointed out by Shelly Mann the ringside announcer that it was in the seventh round when a critical point was taken away from a Revelo for the low blow and by golly that did uh, that did have some bearing I would think uh, on the outcome but actually when you when you look at it here the point that was taken away that still did not that did not or would not have changed the outcome. A split decision for Stevie Cruz. What a fight it has been, though, from Will Rogers Coliseum, as Cruz's record now goes to 27-1. And, and I'll tell you what, Roger Revelo, although he's now 26-2-1, anybody who saw this fight knows that Roger Revelo can hold his own against the best in the featherweight 
division. We're going to see a lot more of him. Hope you enjoyed the main event for Will Rogers Coliseum.